Hi guys, Matt here with uh, Semi Pro Photo, uh, coming to you from the great state of Louisiana, where the roads are bad and the food is so good. Uh, we have had a, a horrible ice storm uh, last week, and uh, the uh, world was kind of frozen, or our world was uh, frozen. Uh, most of the South was, and I, you know, that's not normal for here. Uh, usually, we're swimming at, at Christmas time and um, it's just not normal so we weren't ready for it we've been stuck in the house for about a week and this past week we finally got to to where we're out and moving anyway I digress uh, I just wanted to make this quick video to kind of uh, uh, address some of the concerns that I had when starting a new photography brand or a business I I thought that you needed a really really good camera and uh, and look you know I love gear uh, that should be obvious I love gear I love uh, cameras I, I love computers and tech and uh, we'll review some of that later on and what I actually use but what I started out with was a Canon Rebel T5. A Canon Rebel T5. Uh, this thing has an 18 megapixel uh, sensor on it. And I thought megapixels mattered a whole lot. And look, look, if you're going to crop in, it does. It does. Uh, it matters a lot because what will happen is if you don't get it perfect in, camera and um, you deliver um, uh, the photos to the client and they decide that they want to make a billboard out of your picture uh, they're not happy with it because um, <laughs> they're standing two feet from it and looking at it and it looks like a, a an a oil painting uh, that's not how you should view a picture that big and I always like to ask people how big are they going to blow up the image now right now I've got a Sony a7 III and it takes amazing pictures it's got a 24 uh, megapixel sensor and that's perfect for a lot of uses anything over that is kind of overkill so um, you know I mean it's really all about what you are going to use it for and other videos tell you that and you know I will tell you the same thing but this Canon T5 uh, it is an entry level camera at, at the time that my father-in-law actually bought this uh, he bought this in a in a pack at Sam's and it came with two lenses and um, and look you know, my first few clients I actually did with the kit lens. And the kit lens really isn't all that bad because what F4 actually does is that it puts more in focus and it's, it makes it easier to actually hit your, uh, your uh, uh, focus. So uh, that is a little tip that if you want to get everything in focus, crank that aperture up to f8 or f9 you know uh you know you have to do a lot with that uh so 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 look it, it is perfect for outdoor things i actually shot a wedding on this so when i first get started i want to make this look as much like a pro camera that it can possibly be so i bought this uh off-brand um, uh, battery pack also because I was shooting a wedding and I didn't want to have to change batteries every 200 shots and that's exactly what you have to do with this camera the battery is terrible but the images that come out of this camera are fantastic they are amazing and if you do post photo editing in in raw this thing shoots raw and it does amazing at it now as far as video it doesn't really do a very good job but you can do a lot with 
this camera. You can, you can find it used for about $150. The lens that I have on it is a Sigma 17 to 50 2.8 aperture. Get to 2.8 as fast as you can or under 2.8. Get to a 1.8, 2.82. Get to that as fast as you can. You can find this lens used for about $250. Now, is it the best lens? No. Is it the sharp, sharpest lens? No. But what this will do, it will do fantastic things in low light because with this camera, you need good low light functions. So, with that said, this is the perfect camera to start out with. If, if you are a parent and you have children that are interested in uh, photography, uh, that want to start taking pictures of their friends and their bikes and their hobbies, uh, this is a good camera for that. This is a fantastic camera for that, that will teach them the basics. Now I will do other videos that will teach you the basics. And this is a family friendly um, uh, channel. And I just want to make sure that everybody is welcome here. Uh, guys, I, I love my profession. I love my profession so much. I don't make a lot of money right, right now. I've had this business for about a year. Uh, so that's kind of what this channel is for, is it's kind of documenting uh, my road um, to a photography business thus far. And uh, I hope that I will get better at these videos. Um, uh, I do have the uh, Sony a7 III. It is a fantastic camera. I do have Canon lenses, but those Canon lenses with the adapter are amazing for shooting photo. So uh, guys, I just want to uh, tell you, you can learn the basics even with a phone, right? You can learn the basics even with a phone. Whatever you have, whatever you have, start out with. You know, I wouldn't shoot a wedding with a phone, but I would have no problem whatsoever shooting another wedding with this camera. I would have no problem shooting a wedding with an A6000. You know, those are great cameras and those are cheap cameras. You can find those for under 500 bucks, you know, and you can make money at this. You can truly make money at this. Guys, I want to encourage you so much to do your research. Do your research, get educated on this subject, guys, because this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Do me a favor and write down here, right down here, uh, there is a little logo. Hit that logo and subscribe to, to my channel. I do really stupid little um, uh, films and little short films and they're really terrible but some of them are funny and I can't get anybody to actually do them with me so I do them myself so guys thank you so much for uh, tuning in and thank you for everything that you do for me bye